getting imported STLs back to origin in FreeCAD by way of the manipulator workbench. One of the recurring frictions in CAD workflows is the seemingly random placement of STL meshes and the tedious and inexact methods we use to transform them into a reasonable location within our CAD tool. Even the workflows of folk who are experts at FreeCAD are slowed down by this. Here's a typical just after import interface where the STL mesh is offset quite a few hundred millimeters from the CAD origin. If you right click on the mesh to attempt to transform it by the usual directional and rotational arrows, well, they're offset. It's such a hassle to shift the mesh and visually chaotic to zoom in and out to change the viewpoint. And, well, it's also prone to inaccuracy. One approach is to select a point on the mesh and find its XYZ. You could then go in and find the placement values for the mesh and shift it to the CAD origin or some other desired location. To get the mesh to the origin, you just negate the values to. However, editing these numbers can be problematic. With a complex mesh, it will be attempting to update the coordinates and drawing as you're typing in the numbers. The other approach we're exploring in this video is to use the manipulator workbench. This is one of the optional workbench installs. The manipulator workbench has a number of tools, including a line. It offers many options, most of which don't seem to have any impact on shifting an STL mesh. For most align tool actions, you first select a point or an edge or a face for a reference entity. That's where you want to move to. And then you control click on the entity that you want to move to that reference. So there are lots of YouTube videos and there are lots and lots of different combinations. So I saw that, great, just what I need. I installed the workbench, added a small cube at the origin, and then attempted to use the manipulation workbench. And, well, mostly nothing happened. And one time it actually did work. Brilliant! But I actually couldn't replicate it on another machine. Arr. Long story short, lots of tries later, various computers, versions of FreeCAD, and navigations found, I found a combination that worked. Hence, this video to save you the frustration of working your way through all that matrix of combinations. So if you have not already done so, install the manipulator workbench and restart FreeCAD. So start a new document and use the file import. Before you can relocate an imported mesh, well, you've got to make it into something that's editable. So the usual workflow is to convert the imported STL mesh into a shape, and then convert the shape into a solid. If it's a rather complex mesh, you might want to also make a refined copy of that solid to act on. In FreeCAD, we have the original mesh, we have the shape, and then conversion to solid, and then a refined solid cross point of the axis. And at that, I have a cube to help see things. What I'm first going to do is switch over to the manipulator and the aligner tools. So this is the important bit. We want that combination for the reference and we want to align on a point. Surfaces, edges, they simply don't work when we're dealing with an STL. So we want to use a point in both places. So first we'll zoom in on the cube and we'll find that point. 
And then I'm going over to the STL. And I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here. Trying to get down to a place where I can actually reliably pick a point. And so I'm going to do control, click. And then I go to controls, and hopefully this will work. I say align objects. Now that disappeared, which is a good idea. And what have we got here? We have So that point in there is matched with that. Um, so if I go back to part, to the model, what I have is placement is now set up to be basically at the origin. If I then say save as, see, sorted. If you get it right, it's great. Make sure you only hit points. Zoom as much as you can. If when you control click on the object itself and it doesn't disappear and it just sits there, you haven't, you, you've hit a line or something like that. So that's the magic. Thanks for watching.